you guys want to know what an L2 like that? Or L2 like this? Well, I got you. What's up, guys? Back with another video, and today, I'll show you guys how to L2 like a top player in the NHL 23 Hockey Ultimate Team. So, let's get into it. So, what is the point of L2-ing? So, if you guys watch me play, you know that I kind of look like a ballerina when I play. Um, I love to get past my opponents, you know spinning and all that shit i love to protect the puck using it um and it's a skill it's not a cheat it's a skill and i'm going to show you guys today how to use it how to actually use it properly and how to effectively use it in games to help you win more games before we get into the video i just want to say what i'm showing you guys is the basics if you guys want more tutorials on it it's kind of hard to put it in videos because i can't see what you're doing wrong but if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching hit me up on instagram and i'll be sure to help you guys out get better at it and get better at the game in general so first off um you need to be on skill stick i know you can do it on hybrid but it is not the same trust me uh it's not the same i've tried it you have to press different buttons and the buttons you need on hybrid are needed for other you know a certain place so if you're on skill stick uh do it if not switch to skill stick because it's needed so if you go into your controls you're going to see that x uh for skill stick is protect the puck and the l2 is vision control you're going to want to know how to use both of them and those are the two buttons i'm essentially using for all of these uh moves aside from uh me using my right joystick to you know move and uh evade some uh some opponents all right so the two buttons you're going to want to use for l 2 is x and l2 like i said if you're on skill stick, those are the two buttons you're gonna wanna use. If not, switch to skill stick, it's gonna make your life so much easier. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you three aspects of L2 that are needed in NHL 23. One is the uh, L2 spin, then it's the L2 joystick spin, and then finally just protecting the puck and how it's useful to use L2 protecting the puck. So first off, the spin. So as I told you guys, X and L2 are the buttons you're gonna be using and I'll show you guys exactly the spin I'm talking about. So when you're skating up, I'm on the right side with the lefty, so I'm gonna be cutting inside. So I press, I hold X, I L2, and now you see I'm flipped. Uh, and then when you want to do the spin, you just put your left joystick towards the side you want to go on. So if I want to spin and go towards the left, I spin towards the left. If I want to spin towards the right, I put it towards the right. Uh, and I'll show you guys in, you know, quickly how it looks. Uh, so here I'll spin towards the left and bang. You guys are probably asking yourself why do I need to hold X when I could just L2 normally. The reason for that is because if you look at my player when I hold X, look at the difference. So I hold X. I put my back towards the middle. When I don't hold X, I put my back towards the side. So that's what this version of l 2 does. Uh, it just makes it easier for you to protect the puck and keep the puck because if you leave yourself open towards the middle, you're gonna get poked. You can get hit more often than not. Rather than if you put your back towards the guy, he can't poke you, he's gonna get a penalty and he can't hit you because, well, you have your back on him. He, like, he's not gonna get that puck either way. So that's why the third aspect of this, protecting the puck, that's why this version is so important and that's why it helps me keep the puck longer to cycle, to get a lot of chances, to get a lot of offensive zone time to score more goals than until 23. So as I said, the spin, pretty basic, XL2, cut towards the middle pretty simple pretty basic and if you do it really quickly obviously with your better players you can get past people it works on both sides lefties and righties it's the same thing uh and it's like i said it's very simple to do uh no real mechanics to do this but uh when it comes to the joystick that's where it gets a little more complicated uh, and that's where it's a little harder to explain because i need to see how you guys play to actually uh, tell you guys what to do because it's 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 not something that it's a set play like the spin like there's a lot of aspects to it so like i said if you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching just hit me up on instagram at tell 15 and i'll help you guys out there um but yeah so i'll show you guys just one play of using your joystick all right so for the joystick um it's the same thing you do a spin but at the end of your spin you're gonna put your joystick the side you came from so i'm gonna spin uh towards uh towards the left here so i'm gonna spin and then cut towards the left like that and I'm gonna just put my joystick towards my forehand because I'm cutting towards the left. So you put your joystick towards the left. So here I'll show you guys. XL2 spin, forehand bang. You see that quick spin? That's what I'm talking about. It works forehand, backhand, lefties and righties. I'll show you guys uh, on the backhand here. You just pull it to your backhand. Obviously it works a little bit better and quicker on forehands, but backhand still works as well. So like I said, XL2 spin, pull it back to the side you came from, pretty easy. Same thing here, pull it to your forehand. And it, like it's not, it's nothing really complicated here. It's more so about protecting the puck, which is complicated and that's where people uh, struggle. But like I said, the spin itself, XL2, pull it to the side you came from. Obviously, if you're gonna, if that happens to you right there, you're doing it too early. Um, so you gotta make sure you find the right time to do it. 
uh, and that's when you're gonna experience some really quick spins just like that so i'll show you guys just a few clips i just did in the past few games like i just went into them played like i usually do and this is how i essentially play all the time uh whether you think it's sweaty whether you think it's whatever you, whatever you think it's just really useful for me and if you guys can uh you know try this out experiment with it and actually find that you know you're actually good with the mechanics of this it might help you guys out uh to learning just get better at certain mechanics such as these in the game so first off this clip i'm coming on a two on two with teravine and uh, he's controlling his right D. So I faked the cutout on the right side while I use my joystick to cut in the middle of my L2. Like I just showed you guys. So the quick uh, joystick spin to cut right back into the middle. So now it's like a two on one with guys back checking. I spin my back checker and the other guy in front. Do that joystick move again to shoot far side. So as you guys see on the last spin, I do the exact same spin I just did two seconds ago to score far side. Um, so just like that, I protect the puck. I always keep the puck on the outside. After my first spin, the puck is on the outside to make sure I don't get poked. He tried to poke, he missed, and I was able to score that goal off, you know, some two pretty decent moves, a nice goal, uh, if I could say so myself. The second goal is more about puck protection, which I'll uh, I'll talk about in about two seconds. Um, but essentially on this goal, I spin off one guy, I keep the puck on the outside. The, my entire uh, motive on this play is just to, you know, find a lane. I'm, I'm patient with it, uh, and I'm waiting for him to be unpatient while I'm still in the vicinity of a possible goal. So as you guys see, I'm just l 2 around, keeping the puck on the outside, protecting the puck i'm always keeping my joystick i'm always keeping my stick on the outside of my opponent and he's skill zoning so i don't really have to do that but i still am uh, i miss a pass to mcdavid i still l2 and mcdavid cut back in front and i see he's being, becoming a little bit aggressive there's 40 seconds left he's up by one i l2 in the slot uh not even a spin i just stop and that's why it's effective just l2ing it it helps me protect the puck it helps me move laterally very quickly and as you see from this play, he pokes the puck. He tries to at least. He gets out of position, passes it to Zabanajad, who's got you know a lot of space. And I go forehand, backhand, forehand to score a goal. Um, so this entire play is just me protecting the puck, taking my time. If you guys can learn to just protect the puck and spin, use your L2s a bit more to help you protect the puck and find lanes to spin as well. This can be a very good tool for you guys to score more goals and win more games. All right, so now protecting the puck. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys why this is important in the first place and what to do so when you protect the puck You want to keep the puck away from your opponent. So let's say the red dot right here is my opponent I'm not gonna I don't want to be like this I don't want to l2 and open myself up like that He can poke it But if I press X and then I keep my joystick far enough from him He can't poke me if I you know I I'm using my joystick. I'm moving it always keeping it around uh, did not want to spin there, but you know you keep it around him You don't want to put it into a, a spot where he can poke you or hit you from so you want to always keep it And as you see as you see from my remote here, I'm always l2ing it kind of stops It helps me stop helps me move around and adjust um, And that's where you guys are gonna see it's a little harder to do uh, when you begin um, But like I said if you keep practicing you're gonna get the hang of it Obviously it might seem pointless to you guys there, but when it comes to a game if you guys watch me play on, like, pop in a stream on Wednesday when I'm playing champs, you guys will see that I L2 all the time. Uh, like, I'll try to put clips, but, uh, like, I L2 all the time. That's all I do, and that's all I do to uh, cycle. Yeah, guys, it's all about practice. Uh, you always want to just keep the puck away from your opponent uh, and keep your back on him. So I, whenever I feel like I'm going to turn into him, I just L2 quickly uh, to keep my back on him. And you just, you know, you, you continue like that. And that's how you're going to keep the puck more often in the offensive zone. Get more ice time uh, in the offensive zone. And find more lanes because your opponent's going to get impatient. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, there's so many more aspects to l 2 that are just so hard to understand and say without like seeing how you guys play. So like I said, one-on-one -on -one coaching, hit me up on Instagram at Charlie15, I'll be there to help. Um, but like I said guys, that is pretty much the basics of l 2 spinning and shit like that. Pretty basic. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.